A number of people ask me how CRPS could be related to the gut. And what I say is the gut is related to many, many different syndromes. And CRPS, or RSD, is just one of them. We found in our investigation that bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine was a big factor in CRPS. And treating the inflammation by killing off the excess bacteria in the small intestine helped these patients get better. So in this situation, inflammation and stimulation of the immune system is integral for continuing the pace of CRPS. What we find is that the immune cells from small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, stimulate the production of T cells and B cells. And these things contribute towards production of inflammatory cytokines, which we know are really important in CRPS. Many times patients ask me, how do I know if I have SIBO? How do I get my doctor in my hometown to test for it? Well, it's very simple. There are a couple of companies that sell breath test kits online and a prescription from your doctor can get a test for this breath test. Let me explain what the breath test does simply. It looks for evidence of bacteria higher up in the intestine than they should be. We have trillions in the colon, but very few in the small bowel. So with this breath test, if you take it and more hydrogen or methane is produced, and we test for that in test tubes um, when you're breathing into this little tube, um, then you can diagnose small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. With a diagnosis of that and or irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea, antibiotic, both regular antibiotic, such as rifaximin, or herbal antibiotics can help suppress bacterial overgrowth. So with respect to treatment and diagnosis, this is all very exciting. I think that this can lead to help for many patients because what we need to do is to find, find the underlying causes for inflammation that make CRPS go on and on.